Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly read for December 2023, the last month of the year. Okay guys, let's dive in. Let's take a look and see what is happening for Sagittarius on this month. I'm going to pull a six card spread. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, I'll put one, two, three, and then uh, three more. All right. Hope you guys are all well. Uh, guys, do keep in mind we're at the, I'm at the last uh, 24 hours for my uh, 30 minute read for 40% off. It is up until Cyber Monday at midnight is when it ends. So if you get this now, guys, jump on it, snag that deal. It's going to be a while. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, this is a, a really good time to do it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll put that up here, my, um, up here and then also my description box too, guys. Okay. All right. What's going on for Sagittarius? I'm going to pull overarching energy. So this is going to be important for you to remember and to think about regarding, uh, your month. All right. We're going to do, it's going to be a general read. Whatever comes up is what's going to be what's most important for you here. All right. So let's dive in. What do we get here? Okay. Ah, what is this? What is it that we get? Message from the universe coming through here. Those you love, love you. Well, isn't that such a beautiful reminder, guys? Isn't that nice? Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to read the back for you. It says, to be beautiful in the eyes of another simply forget they're watching the universe. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Oh, this is great. I'm going to pull another card to see if there's any other message that wants to reveal itself coming through. And then we will jump on into the tarot here, okay? So, wow. <laughs> this, uh, those you love, love you. What a beautiful message, guys, for the month. Keep that in mind, okay? Especially if you ever wonder, you know, it, you're alone. You never are. You just never, never are. And what do I get here? Yeah, there's a rebirth of some sort, a rebirth uh, in a situation. It's a 10 card. So this is an opportunity uh, for an ending and a brand new beginning. How beautiful is this? It's almost like you get your January 1st a little bit early um, or you can kind of gear up for it. Okay. Uh, but that's what I'm getting here. Some sort of rebirth and having the courage for a brand new beginning. All right. Ooh, I like this. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Let's go ahead and dive into your read to see what comes out for you here. All right. So where I get uh, where you're at right now is I get the page of Pentacles. Now, there could be a message coming through from a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Now, this is a this is talking about, I would say, like a, a new job. This could be a, a raise in a particular position. This could be uh, money news, you know, that is coming through. So you're kind of looking at this. It's kind of, it, you could be getting a message. So I feel for some of you, if you've been looking for a job or you've been looking for that, uh, you know, that raise or to increase your business and that type of thing, I get Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy coming through. All right. Uh, so there we go. What else do we get? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, slowly moving forward, putting the effort in. So there's, it's, it's been slow coming. All right. Uh, but this is getting the message message and moving forward. Now you could be taking on this energy as well, but this is about looking at that opportunity and slowly moving forward. All right. So it's the slowest night in the deck, but it's the most solid here. So this is a reliable person, very patient, uh, uh, very hardworking. Um, again, just be very reliable and pushing forward. And this could be you taking on that energy. Okay. Uh, give me more uh, that comes out uh, for Sagittarius. What do we get? Um, okay, so let's take a look what we get here. Ah, you know what I'm getting here? How you see yourself right now it could be, you know, slowly moving forward. I do get that you're looking at the greater possibilities, all right? You're seeing the bigger picture and looking at the possibilities, okay? This could be between two people or the possibilities, to the, you know, the choices between two things. That could be the case as well. But it's, it's seeing the bigger picture and overcoming obstacles, looking at the bigger terrain. Uh, and now there's a sense of some sort of maturity. I think there's something that is, you know, you have this rebirth. So you've got this new beginning coming through here. And so I feel that there's a sense of some sort of maturity that you see the bigger picture and the possibilities before you after perhaps doing some shadow work. Okay. 
uh, you know, after, you know, it's been maybe silence and there was just nothing, maybe after some sort of obstacle of some sort. Um, but I do get where you just couldn't see, you felt like you were in the dark and now you can actually see the possibilities and, uh, the maturity and how far that you've come from where you've been and where you are now. So it's kind of it's something that I'm getting for you right now. Is there anything more that is important uh, for Sagittarius, uh, in terms of where they're at at this moment? What do we get? What do we get? Yeah, there's a scent, there's a change coming through. She's got a sneaker runner, so this is about transformation. There's a transformative change that is taking place. This is a beautiful, you know. Uh, every day we change, and if we just go ahead and just embrace it, we could be open to all the uh, wonderful possibilities that change can bring. Um, uh, so, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Let's move on and take a look uh, at the next step here. Where you are at this moment, it's coming together. Maybe there is some sort of contract. This could be coming together with someone, an attraction between you and another person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, so this is beautiful. Uh, for some of you, this could even be a romantic love partnership, proposal, or marriage. So, wow, you could be getting married and coming together. This is, this is fantastic. Um, and it's being blessed, right? It's being blessed. So I think some of you, that could be the case. Uh, two people coming together. And what you want most at this moment is to come together and have that connection and uh, uh, you have that partnership, have that, uh, uh, if you're not connected with someone, it could be a partnership or contract of some sort that you feel emotionally good about. Both sides got something to offer and uh, it's a level playing field and what you want, they want and vice versa. So uh, this is beautiful. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless there, guys. That's, that's really nice. Some of you are, you know, going towards marriage. There is a transformative uh, process here. You know, what you love loves you, right? Or what is it? Was it who you love? Yeah, those you love love you. Yeah, and there you go. Okay, uh, let's take a look at anything else. What else do we get uh, in regards to this? Oh my gosh, these cards just like to spin. <laughs> All right, what else do we get for you here? Ah, experiencing some sort of harvest. This connection's coming through. I will tell you that, guys. And it could involve traveling, okay? Maybe you're proposing to someone you had to travel, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, I feel that this is quite beautiful. Something, maybe, maybe this connection involves traveling. Uh, but I do get experiencing some sort of harvest coming through. So this could be communication of a new, of an experience to grow something together. All right. And it could be traveling. And so it could be creating change. You've got to create change in this. And you're moving from um, the innocence, you know, a small grasshopper to now kind of moving into something bigger. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Uh, anything more uh, for Sagittarius on um, what you want most at this moment is this thing. Okay. What do we get? Yeah, you have done a lot of shadow work. You've done your shadow work, I feel, and now it's all about the transformation. Uh, you've been the, the what's come to light is your shadow side, and we already saw that because you've transformed. You know, right here, right uh, from the nothingness, right from the uh, from the shadow side work that you've done. So now you you see the light. It's being ignited on the shadow side and you're aware, okay? It's, it's like you're no longer innocent. Like you know um, this is a wreath of success. It's accepting your shadow side. So this is something really important. Uh, um, it's it's going to help you. Uh, you know, once you acknowledge that, you can integrate that, and you could be so much more successful in everything that you do. Now, as we move forward, what are um, what I get here? Uh, wow, this is about shifting uh, the energies. This is you. Wow, your fears is being able to shift the energy to create this change. I mean, the Queen of Wands is all about a person that's full of confidence and self-assurance, but it's in your fear position. So there may be you fear the confidence, you fear the, the self-assurance, you fear this optimism. Uh, how interesting. Give me more on this. There's got to be more to this than that because, you know, the Queen of, of, of uh, Wands is, is the most confident in the deck. And I feel that you could be taking on that energy because that's fire energy, right? So there's something about this. Let's look a little bit deeper here. All right. So this is uh, giving yourself totally moving towards a new, you're, free, you're, oh my gosh, you're just, it's a, it's a new step for you. Whatever it is that you're doing in this connection or situation here, it's a new step. It's a new step. And it's about, you know, having the confidence 
um, been in, it's, here's how they came out here, like this, and I'll have to read them that way. So let's take a look. So what I get here, what did I get first here? Oh, I got totality. Okay, here we go. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. So what I get here, this is about uh, connecting with others. So maybe you're connecting, you're, you're coming together with others on a brand new adventure. It's something that's new to you and you are focusing in on what it is that you want. For, for some of you, you've been really exhausted, all right? You've got this adventure and you're starting new. You had a, a 10 card and now you're moving on this brand new beginning, this new structure, this new situation. It could be, again, a job. It's a relationship too is what I'm getting, but this is about exhaustion, being exhausted um, on this new adventure. Uh, so maybe that um, you are looking at getting help from others uh, in, on this adventure. So having another partner or something so you don't reach some sort of exhaustion. So what I get uh, in terms of your fears is that maybe you fear you'll be exhausted. Um, you fear that the, this adventure, um, oh my gosh, it's like uh, something about this adventure. Give me another more. Give me a little bit more here, okay? Give me a little bit more because the Queen of Wands, what are you fearing? Oh, politics, transformation, taking off the mask, all right? So fear of taking off the mask, getting out of the mind. Your fear is to get out of the mind and take off the mask and go do your thing. There could be some sort of vulnerability. There could be a, 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 a confession of some sort publicly or I don't know whatever this is it's about taking off the mask and uh, getting out of the mind and uh, transforming and really uh, moving forward guys is what I'm getting give me anything else that wants to come through what do we get this is devotion this could be devotion between you and another person this could be devotion between you and your craft of what it is that you're doing and you're ready to dance together. For some of you are coming together with someone. Some, it could involve dance, could involve music. Oh, marriage. Guys, you're, it's, it's like you're fearful, but, this, but you want to do it, right? It's like you're ready. It's like you're ready, but it's kind of like you're scared and, you're scared and excited at the same time. I don't know, scared sighted, right? <laughs> but you're doing it. And this is the Ten of Pentacles. You're doing the dance. You're doing the dance. of. Uh, for some of you, it's marriage. For some of you, it's creating wealth because of this new opportunity here. So this is an opportunity to share wealth. Mm -mm -mm. What's going for you is what? I get the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Okay, So this is uh, getting justice to see a different perspective. Libra energy. So this is now getting uh, balanced. Now this could be... Uh, you know, legal situation, marriage. Uh, this could even be, uh, you know, for for a, uh, a a court situation as well. Seeing a different perspective, but uh, I feel that you're not you're not any longer closed off. Everything is now balanced. Maybe this is something that you've always wanted here, Sag. It's marriage. It's partnership. It's someone to partner up with, someone by your side to be able to move forward with. Okay. And, and, and the changing of perspective is now underway and it's been balanced with the justice card coming through here. So this is what I get. What's really going for you is that perspective of isolation is gone and now things are balanced for you. Okay. So uh, anything more that comes through? Yeah, you've done that healing. You've done that healing already, Satch. Okay, you've already done that. Okay, you've made improvements and now it's time to celebrate. This could be union with others, a celebration. Uh, I mean, when I get the justice, you know, it's like a justice of peace and celebration. It could be gearing up for some sort of wedding. But the bottom line is that you're celebrating. It could be an engagement. Um, you're celebrating the healing that you've overcome to see a new perspective in something. And it's brought some sort of strong ground for you, okay? So you could be, maybe you are dancing and, and, and having a celebration, all right? And you're taking it step by step, moment by moment, all right? It's not about rushing. It's about enjoying the journey in the process. So this is what it's, it's saying is, is going for you here, all right? So uh, let's take a look here. What's going against you, what do we get? What's going against you is what? is uh, not making a decision in something, not resurrecting yourself, not changing and shifting. Um, so it's going against you. I get the four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then I get judgment, okay? 
So uh, what, I'm, what I feel that there is a final decision. You have some sort of wake up call and this is after some sort of resting period. Now it is about clarity. Uh, this is, for some of you, this is your life's purpose. Whatever it is that you're doing and coming together, you're moving forward on your life's purpose. Uh, and I do get Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I do get uh, focusing in on your emotions, focusing in on your intuition, and you know, making a judgment after getting some sort of rest. All right? Um, this wants you to tap into your intuition, okay? Tap into your intuition in terms of making a decision. It wants you to do that right now, okay? Because what's going against you is um, not, not listening to that. Uh, give me a little bit more. Yeah, I get lover's card. That the six of, uh, uh, what's the six card? It's like Gemini energy. It's, uh, you know, what's, what's going for you is you're using your intuition to make a decision regarding love. For some, you guys, I got to tell you, someone's getting married here, all right? Note your comments below or getting proposed to. Uh, and yeah, this is what I'm getting that's coming through. Uh, that's powerful. Uh, it is, you know, the lover's card could also, you know, indicate like a, a uh, making a choice in love. There's that judgment. Making that choice in love, right? Judgment, making that choice in love based upon intuition and emotions. The Queen of Cups is you know very strongly intuitive just like the a high priestess energy so after much rest making a decision all right and uh, that's it just wants you to take your time doing that part of it as well and what else yeah trust trust that you know you you bloomed you know enough you've come from a caterpillar to a butterfly that you know enough and this is about trusting you all right uh, and what do I get letting the past go stay in the past Virgo energy Letting the past stay in the past uh, with the Five of Cups. Uh, well, excuse me, I shouldn't say Five of Cups. Uh, well, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's Five of Cups here. Five of Cups. Um, I kind of get here. Um, I, was, I said Virgo Energy because I was looking this as being like the, um, uh, I don't know, like the Hermit card here. But what this is, is with the Five of Cups, is looking at the disappointments, all right? And knowing what went wrong and then taking control of the situation, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So this is knowing the disappointment and taking control of, uh, their li of your life and following intuition, high priestess energy. Wow. Wow. And it could be also for some of you is not taking control, not controlling the situation of emotions, not try, not controlling a situation and using your high priestess energy. Uh, what else do we get regarding teamwork and collaboration? Use, I, you might be a little scared, you know, kind of, this is new terrain for some of you. This is the case, but I do get, this is partnership connection for those of you. This is that, that job and, and doing it, using your intuition in this process is going to help you and, uh, heed you every step, keep you, uh, help you every step of the way. Yeah. You're getting rid of past conditioning, the past conditioning. It is like you've overcome that. Uh, you've, you've had better control over the disappointment it's done. And now it's about, you know, getting rid of that past conditioning and being able to push forward and use your intuition and, you know, a, 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 a partnership, a connection, uh, a new job. Use that. It's going to help you. I mean, 20 fold is what I'm getting. So, yeah, this is what I'm getting, guys. Uh, anything more that wants to come through in the outcome that will be important here. Queen of Pentacles. I got the king and the queen of pentacles coming through here, guys. This is a divine count. This is a divine uh, counterpart here. This is a couple here. So this is coming together. This is a, I, I feel that there is a, a, a teamwork and collaboration between two people. Uh, it's a perfect match, guys. Perfect match. Um, anything that would be important for Sagittarius to be aware of uh, as we close out. I'm going to pull a fortune cookie to see what comes out for the month of December. And what do we get? Your generosity never ceases to impress those around you is what I'm getting. Beautiful, guys. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Note your comments, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.